Indoor Air Quality Monitoring Hello friends, welcome to HSE with Codes. Do you know indoor air quality? In this video we shall discuss indoor air quality. Its main parameters, sources or activities which are contributing these parameters and permissible limits as per different standards, codes. Main parameters. Following are the main parameters which are contributing for quality of indoor air. Carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, formaldehyde, lead, nitrogen dioxide, ozone, particulate matters, radon, sulfur dioxide, volatile organic compounds, humidity, and temperature. Carbon dioxide. CO2 is most commonly present gas which results from respiration process or combustion end products. High levels of CO second of may stimulate the respiratory center to cause dizziness, confusion, difficulty in breathing, etc. Carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide is an odorless, colorless and toxic gas. Because it is impossible to see, taste or smell the toxic fumes, carbon monoxide can kill you before you are aware it is in your home slash workplace. Carbon monoxide, results from incomplete combustion of carbon-containing fuels. Formaldehyde is a strong-smelling, colorless gas used in making building materials and many household products. It causes irritation to the eyes, nose and throat, fatigue, headache, skin allergies, vomiting etc. etc. Lead can be released directly into the air as suspended particles. Major sources of light air emissions were motor vehicles and industrial sources. Lead that is emitted into the air can be inhaled or can be ingested, primarily through contact with contaminated soils or other surfaces. Nitrogen oxides are a family of poisonous, highly reactive gases. These gases form when fuel is burned at high temperatures. NOx pollution is emitted by automobiles trucks and various non-road vehicles, for example, construction equipment, boats, etc. Ozone at ground level is a harmful air pollutant, because of its effects on people and the environment, and it is the main ingredient in smog. Particulate matters, PM is a mixture of solid particles and liquid droplets found in the air. Some particles, such as dust, dirt, soot, or smoke, are large or dark enough to be seen with the naked eye. PM2, 5 and PM10 are the most considered PM sizes while measuring the quality of indoor air. These two sizes are known to cause respiratory tract disorders and impair vision. Examples of particulate matters 2, 5 are combustion particles, organic compounds and airborne metal particles. Different emitters of PM2, 5 are vehicles, industry, power generation and domestic heating, particulate matters, PM10 are very small particles found in dust and smoke, they have a diameter of 10 micrometers, 0, 01 millimeter or smaller, PM10 particles are a common air pollutant, radon is a colorless, odorless gas, the primary source of indoor air pollution, radon gas, along with decay products, products that can attach to dust and airborne particles, enters the lungs and decays, producing alpha and beta radiation that damages DNA and causes lung cancer. Sulfur dioxide, SO2, is a gaseous air pollutant composed of sulfur and oxygen. SO2 forms when sulfur containing fuel such as coal, oil, or diesel is burned. It causes lung disorders and shortness of breath. Volatile organic compounds. The extensive use of new products and building materials has caused increased concentrations of indoor pollutants, especially volatile organic compounds, VOCs. Indoor levels of VOCs always two five times greater than outdoor. 
humidity is the concentration of water vapor present in the air. Water vapor, the gaseous state of water, is generally invisible to the human eye. Volatile organic compounds causes liver, kidney disorders, irritation to the eyes, nose and throat, skin rashes and respiratory problems. Changes in temperature indoors results in massive discomfort to humans. To achieve good indoor air quality, it becomes necessary to maintain thermal comfort. ASHRAE has defined standard limits of temperature for summer and winter. Following sources activities causes production of indoor air pollutants, combustion activities, use of chemicals, building materials, food and water, smoking activity, outdoor air pollution, permissible levels limits as per different standards. Carbon dioxide levels. Carbon monoxide levels. Formaldehyde levels. Lead levels. Nitrogen dioxide levels. Ozone levels. Particulate matters 2, 5 and 10. For radon, no permissible level is defined. Sulfur dioxide levels.
humidity levels. Temperature limits. Thank you for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with friends.